Adelita by Tommy de Paula, a Mexican Cinderella story. Hace mucho tiempo, a long time ago, in a village in Mexico, there lived a merchant named Francisco and his beautiful wife, Adelia. One day, Adelia said, Francisco, estamos esperando un bebé. We are going to have a baby. Adelia, Francisco said, me hace muy feliz saberlo. I am so happy. Then he said, we must send for Esperanza. She will come and take care of you until the baby is born, and then she will help us with the baby. Esperanza had been with the Mercado family since she was a young girl, and she had looked after Francisco when he was a baby. Esperanza came right away. She took good care of Adelia, but after the birth of the baby, Adelia was ill. She grew weaker, and shortly after, she held her little girl for the first and last time. Quietly, she died. Francisco was heartbroken. He named his baby daughter Adelita, little Adelia, after her mother. Francisco was sad for his Adelia, and he missed her greatly, but gradually Adelita filled his heart with love. Time passed, and Adelita grew into a beautiful young woman. La Casa Mercado Sellano de Alegría. The Mercado house was full of happiness. One evening, Francisco called Adelita and Esperanza to his study. My dear Adelita, my good Esperanza, les tengo nositas. I have some news for you. I have met a charming woman and I have decided to marry again. Her name is Senora Michaela de la Fortuna. She is a widow and has two daughters close to your age, Adelita. I know you will make Dona Michaela and her daughters Valentina and Dulce. Adelita was happy for her father. Esperanza wasn't so sure, especially after she met Dona Michaela and her daughters. Que fria son! They're cold ones, Esperanza said. Life was happy, but different. Adelita had to share her father's attention, but they still managed to have importantes momentos juntos, special moments together. Adelita didn't mind that Dona Michaela favored her daughters, even though Esperanza complained. Es natural. It's natural, Adelita told her. Then, suddenly, her father died from an illness, and everything changed. Poor Adelita was an orphan. Dona Michaela had always been jealous of Adelita. Now, she no longer had to hide it. She moved Adelita from her beautiful bedroom to a small room in the attic. No longer did Adelita have new dresses. She had to wear hand-me-downs. Worst of all, Valentina and Dulce were mean and hateful to her. Adelita began spending all of her time in the kitchen with Esperanza. She helped her with the meals. She listened to the stories about her father as a boy and her mother as a young bride. Because she knew that Esperanza loved her, Adelita's heart stayed warm as the fire in the hearth. One day, Dona Michaela came to the kitchen and spoke to them. I am spending too much money in this household. From now on, you, Adelita, will work in the kitchen. You are here all the time anyway. And you, Esperanza, out. I want you to leave immediately. Oh, Senor de la Fortuna, please don't send me away, Esperanza pleaded. I have been with this family since I was a girl. I will work for no money, just for a place to lay my head and a bowl of beans and a tortilla. Oh, please, Mama, Adelita begged. Esperanza can share my room and my food. Out, shouted Senora Michaela de la Fortuna to Esperanza. Then, in an icy voice, she spoke to Adelita. And don't you dare call me Mama again. I am Dona Michaela to you. She turned and left, nose in the air. Entre the grimas y abrazos, amid tears and hugs, Poor Esperanza said goodbye to Adelita and left her with meager belongings. Adelita was in despair. The days ahead held nothing but loneliness and hard work.
Adelita had to prepare the meals, clean the rooms, and fetch and carry for Valentina and Dulce, who became more like malady vingre, meanness and vinegar. Mis hijas, my daughters, Dona Michaela said one morning as Adelita was serving breakfast, El Señor and La Señora Gordillo have sent us an invitation to una fiesta en su hacienda, a party at their ranch, to celebrate the homecoming of their son, Javier. Oh, mamá, Valentina and Dulce twittered. And, Dona Michaela said with a smile, Se rumora, rumor has it, that he will be looking for a wife. The daughters nearly fainted. Secretly, each of them wanted to be a wife of Javier, and each of them would do anything to get him. Dona Michaela, Adelita asked, as she poured the hot chocolate. May I go too? I knew Senor Javier when we were young. I would love to see him again. Are you serious? Dona Michaela asked. Look at you, so poorly dressed, such a dirty face. I would be too embarrassed to have you in our company. You will stay here. Y punto. That is final. Adelita went back to the kitchen. The next days were busy. Adelita did not have a minute to herself. Washing, pressing, sewing ribbons on, taking lace off, at the mercy of every little capricho, whim, of the sisters as each tried to outdo the other. So when Dona Michaela, Valentina, and Dulce left for the fiesta, Adelita went to the kitchen and sat by the fire. Suddenly, disappointment swept over her, and she began to weep. She missed her father. She missed Esperanza. She missed being at the fiesta. Tap, 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 she heard a soft knock at the door. Who is it? Adelita asked. Soy yo, only me. It was Esperanza. Oh, Esperanza, I have missed you so much, Adelita cried. Don't cry, me, pequeñita, my little one, Esperanza said. I am here. I had un sueño, a dream, that Dona Michaela would not let you go to the fiesta, so I came to help. I have borrowed a cart to take you there. But I have nothing to wear, Adelita said. Come with me, Esperanza said. They went to the Corto de Tilchias, storeroom. Over there, behind these boxes, is your mother's trunk. The key is behind the crucifix. Adelita unlocked the truck. Inside, she found an old-fashioned, beautiful white dress. Under the dress was a magnificent reboso, shawl, embroidered with birds and flowers. Oh, mi mamacita, my little mother, Adelita whispered. Adelita washed and dressed. Esperanza braided her hair and wound ribbons and flowers into it. Oh, Esperanza, Adelita said, Dona Michaela will be furious when she sees me. Don't worry, she will never recognize you, Esperanza assured her. Now, vamonos, let's hurry. The fiesta had already begun when Adelita arrived. She walked into the room. Everyone turned to look. The room fell silent. Who was this stunning young woman? Senor Gordillo went up to Adelita. Who do we have here, he asked. I'm in disguise, Adelita said with a twinkle in her eye and a sweet smile. Just call me Cien Cientia, Cinderella. Javier, everyone, Senor Gordillo said. Come and meet our vario Cien Cienta. Javier took one look and fell in love. He danced every dance with Adelita. He brought her refreshments. He never left her side. Adelita's heart was full as well, and all the meanness she had suffered over the years began to melt. But at midnight, when Javier gave her a sweet kiss and declared his love, Adelita was frightened. How could she explain who she was? His family would never allow him to love a kitchen maid. So Adelita ran away and found Esperanza. They hurried home. I will never forget this night as long as I live, Esperanza, Adelita said. Gracias. Thank you. If you ever need me, mijita, my little daughter, just call my name and somehow I will hear you, Esperanza told her. The next day, all Dona Michaela and her two daughters could talk about was the mysterious Cien Cienta, who had appeared and then disappeared from the fiesta, just like the fairy tale. They were jealous of her beauty and even more jealous because they knew Javier had fallen in love with her. 
I'm glad no one knows who she is, Valentina said. Or where she is, Dulce said. And no zapatilla de cristal, glass slipper, Dona Michaela added. Javier had told everyone that he would not rest until he found a ciencienta. He is coming to town, hoy mismissimo, this very day, Dona Michaela announced. He will stop at each house and look for her. This is a chance to show once more that what charms you have, my daughters. So prepare yourselves. Who knows, maybe one of you will make him forget his ciencienta. Adelita, they screamed, come help us quickly. I will be right there, Adelita answered, but before she went to Valentina and Dulce, she ran to the attic and hung her mother's reboso out the window. She helped the two sisters dress. Then she went back to her room and shyly peeked out the window. Soon she saw Javier coming down the street on his horse. Suddenly he saw the reboso. He jumped down, ran to the door, and knocked. Senora Michaela de la Fortuna opened the door. Ah, Senor Javier, pasile, por favor. Come in, please, she said. Senora, where is she? I know my love is here, Javier said. Do you mean one of my daughters? Donna Michaela said. Valentina, Dulce, come here. Senor Javier would like to see you. The sisters appeared in the doorway, giggling foolishly. Buen dia, good day, Senor Javier, they chimed in unison. Do you remember for us? Are you looking for us? Yes, ladies, I remember you, Javier answered, but it's another that I'm looking for. There is no one else here, Donna Michaela said. Yes, there is, a voice said. Are you looking for me, Senor? There was Adelita, standing at the top of the stairs in her mother's dress and reboso. My ciencienta, Javier said. Who, uh, what, what's going on? Dona Michaela said while Valentina and Dulce looked at Adelita in astonishment. It's only Adelita, Dona Michaela, Adelita said as she came down the stairs. Only Adelita. Who are you? Javier asked. I am Adelita Mercado Martinez. We knew each other when we were children. Oh, Adelita, of course. I remember you as a little girl, Javier gasped. I'm so happy I found you again, he smiled. I come to ask my sencienta to marry me. Will you? I am an orphan, Senor Javier, Adelita said. Perhaps you should ask Dona Michaela if she will give you her permission. Will you, Senora? Javier asked. Why, I don't know. I don't know what I mean. Well, of course. We shall be honored, Senor Javier, Dona Michaela said. Valentina and Dulce glared at Adelita. Then it will be, Javier said, taking Adelita's hands in his. In her sweetness, Adelita invited Senora Michaela de la Fortuna Mercado and her daughters, Valentina and Dulce, to the wedding. Of course, Esperanza was there, too. She was going to take care of Javier and Adelita just as she had done before. And just like Cenicienta and her principe, Prince, we shall live muy felices por siempre. Happily ever after, too, Javier said, and they did. <laughs>